to Bible Breaks here in the Longford Group of Parishes. Bible Breaks are where we hit pause on our busy days. Where we take a break to move and shape. And learn a bit about the Bible while we do it. My name is Reverend Simon, this is my wife Tan, and today we're going to bring you a Bible break where we just pause, just clear our minds for a moment, have a bit of activity from the New Testament from the Bible, chapter 11 of Luke's Gospel. So you might notice that today on the bottom of our screens we have a timeline. Mm -hmm. We're going to call it the prodigal timeline. Nice, and that's because the Bible break is all about the prodigal son. And we're going to be following along the timeline, hearing each part of the story. There's a few parts of the story. We follow the timeline, hearing each part of the story, and copying the actions that go with it so we can remember it. Okay, so these are the actions that you'll need to know the most because it's repeated throughout our story. Mm -hmm. It goes like this. Up, up, to go far away. Up, up, to go far away. Wait, wait, until one day. Or wait, wait, until one day. Come back, come back. For me to say, come back, come back, for me to say, my love, my love, will not sway. My love, my love, will not sway. Well, should we try those again as we remember the story? Because this story is all about someone who goes away and comes back again, and God's love is all in it. So try it again. Yes, yeah, so we go up, up, to go far away. Up, up, to go far away. Wait, wait, until one day. Or wait, or wait, until one day. Come back, come back for me to say. Come back, come back for me to say. My love, my love will not sway. My love, my work love will not sway. Okay, so we're going to start over here at the beginning of our timeline. So everyone move over to this part of your screen with us. And the picture on this part of the timeline is a money bag. So for this part of the story, we'll be doing our money bag action. So the, the prodigal son we know had lots of money and he, he spent it very quickly. So that's the action here is mm -hmm. you're throwing your money away. You're spending it too fast. Okay. And then so. we'll finish this part of the story with the actions that we just did, the up, up actions. Right. Okay. Do you think we're ready? We're ready. Okay. So you need to do big movements because we need to get our bodies moving. Okay. The prodigal son was full of greed. He went to his father to beg and plead. He asked his dad for lots of cash, then went away to spend his stash. He lived quite well for a while. He lived with flair, he lived with style. But the greedy son was too carefree. He spent it all on a shopping spree. Now here's the bit we know. Up, up, up to, to go, go far, far away. away. Wait, wait, wait until, until one day. day. Come, come back, come, come back for me to say, my love, my love, love will not sway. sway. Well, let's move on to the next part of the timeline. It's a pig. Uh, cause he, went and looked after pigs. So we're going to do the pig action for the first half and finish with the up-ups. Can so, you show us what the pig action is? Oh, the pig action, absolutely. We're going to do our pig ears and we're going to bob our head around a bit like a pig. Right? Rough from the round. Okay. So here we go. So after he spent all his money, there was famine in his country. He began to be in need. He suffered a lot for his greed. He fed the pigs to pass the time and he could never earn. A dime. Now here's the bit we know. Up, up, up to go far, far away. away. Wait, wait, wait until one day. Come, come back, come, come back for me to say, say my, my love, my love, love will, will not sway. So let's move on to the next part of our timeline. It's a house. We're gonna our action for this will be building a house. Nice. While we say this bit and then we'll finish with our up ups again. Okay. Absolutely. You ready? We're ready. When the prodigal son had reached his limit, he packed his bag with nothing in it. He remembered his dad had food to spare and hoped he could serve him for a fair. The long, long road began, he began to roam, hoping he could work at home. Now here's the bit we know. Up, 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 up far, far away. away. Wait, wait, wait until, until one day. day. Come, come back, come, come back, back for me to say, my love, my love will not sway. Right, we're on to the final part of the time right now. It's the heart. So we're going to do the heart action, and hands. then uh, two <laughs> hands, and then we're going to finish with the up ups. Okay, move so on. Move down the right timeline. Now. Absolutely, our heart action. His father saw him on the road, and his heart overflowed. He ran and hugged him, and with a smile, asked if he would stay a while. The son asked the father if he could work and slave, but instead the father celebrated and forgave. Right, here's a bit we know. Up, up, up to go far, far away. away. Wait, wait, wait until, until one day. day. Come, come back, come back, back for 
for me to say, my love, my love, will, will not sway. Now, that's a great story from the New Testament in the Gospel of... Luke. Luke. Um, chapter 11, wasn't it? Chapter 11, that's okay. it. Okay. Um, and that, that story is about the love and forgiveness of God the Father for his children. That's a little story that Jesus told in the New Testament. Absolutely. To show how much his Father loves us all. Absolutely. It's a great story. Have a read of it later on. Uh, there's a story just before about a sheep and a story about some money lost as well. There's three little stories put together. Great. Have a read of them later on. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Bible break uh, today. If you want to watch it again, watch it again and learn those actions again and just get them really in your mind. And we're going to see you again next Tuesday when we'll be looking at another story this time from the Old Testament. So join us on Tuesday. Have a good weekend. God bless. Farewell.